The part for this demonstration is held in a fixture during machining. Toolpath has been built for the first stage of roughing using an inch and a half end mill. Simulation shows that the toolpath is adequate, but we are lacking the tool assembly information necessary to fully verify the machining setup. This is understandable because Toolpath was initially built for quoting purposes using a generic tool from the tool database. Now that we have an order, we need to purchase suitable tooling for the machining setup. We'll demonstrate how Advion simplifies choosing the right tool along with related components of the tool assembly and how easily that information is passed to Edgecam's tool store database. We've opened Advion. We'll move over to the catalog and type shoulder since we're looking for a square shoulder end mill. If we knew a specific product hood, we could put that in, but we can also put in general information and we find that the catalog has returned over 2,000 tools between indexables and solid type tools. Let's narrow the range a bit using the, uh, some tool information that we found will work from our initial concept. Once we've narrowed the range down, we now have only indexable cutters and there are 139 of them in the catalog. So as I look through the catalog, I'm looking for a tool that has at least a half inch of flute length and I think I'd like to use a multi-tooth cutter. This will give me a deep depth of cut that we can utilize with waveform roughing. So when I take the tool and select it, we see not only a solid image of the rotating tool, but also a two-dimensional layout of the tool and all the relevant dimensions. And this certainly looks like it's capable of the depth of cut we want to achieve, so I'm going to copy it to my items, and we can now use that to build a tool assembly. This is one of the strengths of Advion. As we go over and create a new assembly, we'll be able to take the tools that we have selected in our active database, in this case this tool that I grabbed from the catalog and added to my database, and I'm going to need to select an insert. So Advion steers me to inserts that are the right inserts for this tool. I could select the insert grade I wish to use and add that to my assembly, and then we'll need to do the same thing with holders at the back end. Now the current cutter is a Capto tool body and I'm going to need to pair that to a 40 taper spindle in my machine tool. Again, Advion understands the requirements of the tool. It suggests suitable holders. And when I found the one I want, I can add that to my assembly. We can see the completed rotating assembly. We can also capture things like the tool weight of the assembly, the length of the assembly, and other relevant factors. I'm going to go ahead and save this. This is an assembly I want to use for programming. We'll give it a name. We can see all of the parameters and I will add this entire assembly to my database. Now notice the name that I'm entering here because this is the same name that ultimately we're going to see when we pass this to our CAM system. We'll copy the assembly ID value, paste it to description, and save the tool assembly to our local Advion database. The saved assembly can be referenced in the future and relevant to this demonstration, exported to a CAM software package. We'll use Advion's export to CAM function and this is going to take the tool information from this tool record and create a relevant entry in our EdgeCAM database. Let's demonstrate that by opening the EdgeCAM tool store. We'll find as we look through the tools here that there's a new tool record where the tool description in EdgeCAM matches the assembly ID from Advion. What's happened is that Advion has passed the information that EdgeCAM needs and automatically created a new tool record where there's accurate cutting information and an accurate graphic of the tool holder assembly. We'll be able to immediately use this tool for programming and for verification simply because of the export to CAM function from Advion. Let's move over to our EdgeCAM part and we'll swap out the generic cutter that we've been using for the new cutter that was exported from our Advion catalog. We choose the cutter and select it and press OK. Standard EdgeCAM functionality, the existing tool path is regenerated to the latest cutter that we've selected and once that regeneration is complete we can simulate this and see how this tool cuts. The initial cuts look pretty good. The tool certainly has enough flute length. We've cut both pockets. 
but we see as we go approach the outside machining that the tool body is having a collision with the fixtures. Now one solution would be to modify the roughing tool path, but I'd like to check and see if there's a better cutter before we do that. So we'll jump back to Advion, and I'm gonna to go to my list results where it's selected tools and see if there's a better cutter. We do find one that has an interchangeable head, and this tool also uses indexable inserts. We'll pair that to relevant bodies. And this cutter body and holder has a reduced neck and may perform better. Let's try it out. We'll use the export to cam function again, and that's going to create a new tool record in our EdgeCam tool store with all the information from this latest tool that we've added to our Advion catalog. As before, we'll take our existing milling cutter and EdgeCam, we'll swap out the cutter we tried initially for the newest cutter that we saved in our Advion database. As before, the EdgeCam tool path will rebuild to accommodate the latest cutter that we've selected tool path is updated and then we can simulate this and see how this tool performs. The tool itself is smaller and because the tool body is reduced it does fit nicely in this area. We're still using a, a relevant tool size that doesn't significantly increase machining time. The tool has suitable length. This seems like a good cutter to use for the roughing portion of this program. So now that I know that this is the right tool I can go ahead and move forward with making sure that this is a tool that we purchased, that we have in stock. Advion has made it easy to select not only the relevant information to build a proper tool assembly, but to quickly verify that this is going to work in our CAM software package. It's exported the tools to our EdgeCAM database, and we can immediately use the tools for programming and verification without having to manually create tool records inside the software.